Our Growth Point teaching today takes us to Luke chapter 5, verse number 20, and it reads as follows. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, Friend, your sins are forgiven. This particular verse appears in the section titled, Where Jesus Heals a Paralytic. And these particular friends of this paralytic man had a mission. And the mission was this. They wanted to get their friend to Jesus. Now, they realized that in order for Jesus to heal their friend, uh, he needed to be touched by Jesus. Now, they were not aware that uh, Jesus could just speak the words and someone would be healed, but, but they acted on their understanding. So they were doing their very best to, to bring this man to Jesus so that he could be healed. And Jesus, though, speaks to this man's spiritual condition. Each and every one of us experiences sin. We are all sinful and we all need to experience forgiveness. We need to experience the forgiveness of Jesus. So just as we are all have sin, so we each and every one of us needs to be forgiven. And the main goal that we can see from, from this particular passage and what Jesus is speaking, he says, friend, your sins are forgiven. So Jesus was concerned about this man's spiritual condition. So his spiritual health was Jesus' main concern. Jesus wanted to first of all make sure that his sins would be forgiven so that this man would be able to experience a right relationship with Jesus. How about you and I? Have you received Jesus' forgiveness? Has, have you asked Jesus to forgive you of your sins and to be your Lord and your Savior? I trust that you have made that decision to allow Jesus to forgive you of your sins and to live your life for Him. Let's pray. Jesus, we thank you for these words that you spoke regarding this man who was needed a, a healing. God, you were more concerned about his spiritual health in saying, yes, your sins are forgiven. And after you dealt with his spiritual condition, you did deal with his physical condition. So we thank you, Jesus, that you were willing to die on that cross be raised on the third day so that we could have forgiveness of sin, so that we could be spiritually whole, healthy, and complete. I pray this prayer blessing over you. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because of you, Jesus, and the hope of heaven, we believe and we know the best is yet to come. Amen.